hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a banner using photoshop then here i'm going to use inches then 20 by 10 then i will type the name i'm going to use here is for burger burger banner all right so and i will reduce my resolution to 200 then you click on grids the first thing i will do now i'm going to bring my background which is this then you drag it to photoshop then scale it out something like this then go to your filter blow gaussian blow then 45 45 is okay now i'm going to click on new layer then go to your brush then i'm going to use this brush here then i will leave the brush in the description then this is the brush i'm going to use all right so there are many of them okay then i will increase the brush like this then i'll now begin to drag like this Uh, now i have something like this now that i have something like this then what i'm going to do next is to bring my image all right i have something like this but before then i will duplicate this one into two and i will also going to change this color to something light like this then go to my pocket in pocket to then I will apply this color then duplicate this one ctrl J then now I'm going back to the previous color previous color then select my pocket tool again then i will click now drag this one back a little bit like this okay now i have something like this then i will bring this image then scale it out like this then you scale it then drag it like this okay now go to filter blow gaussian blow then okay i can make it 28 or increase yeah okay this one is okay now i'm going to right click then you apply great creepy mask then you have something like this now again i'm going to bring this burger into the photoshop like this then i'll scale it a bit it's okay then go to your sorry go to your your quick selection tool then you click on select object okay now click on the layer mask now i can see come back here go to rasterize 
then select your quick magic tool then you can remove all this line then delete ctrl d delete delete then ctrl d all right now we have something like this then having this you can go to your drop shadow then you can apply something like this now this is black then my opacity is 76 normal then distance is 14 spread 9 then size is 84 then you click on ok then I'm going to bring an ellipse to then drag it here then change the color to like 10 to 20 percent black oh like this okay all right now go back then click on a filter blanc gaussian blanc then convert to smart object then reduce the radius i think black is going to be better then take it to black go back again to your filter gaussian blur sorry filter blur gaussian blur convert it to smart object then you reduce your radius I think this is okay it's okay then hold your shift key drag it this way then come back to this place you reduce the size reduce the size then click on ok okay now that i have something like this what i'm going to do next then i'm going to select a polygon tool then my number is five then i'll come to this place to select this light color then i will draw it like this then after i draw it like this i'm going to select this shape mm -hmm. or you right click then you see swap here then i will drag it up like this click on ok now you duplicate this one again drag it to a new layer or ctrl j then i will reduce the size like this then double click here go to your color which is this one something like this then click on ok then select the two reduce the size take it up it's okay now that we have something like this then select your test tool then type logo here then I will take this one inside then I'm going to change the color to light something like this 
okay now I will reduce the size now I have something like this then I will copy my test okay the name is not here and then what I'm going to do is to type it manually T on your keyboard for test 2 then I'm going to type Eman like this then scale it the size then I'm going to change the text the font to fair prosper then I have something like this I'll move it here like this then I'm going to duplicate it ctrl J then I'll drag it down then I'm going to type boga then I will change this font to cheese burger increase the size like this click ok then go to your blending mode select stroke then the setting is already here the stroke is 49 then this is the color I used for the stroke okay now I'll click OK then drag it here like this then take it up a bit then bring this one down like this okay then I'm going to draw a rectangle over here like this then change the color to red then I will come here to copy my test then select your test tool ctrl v to paste then make it bold sorry another thing appearing okay then you make it bold then come to this place then you drag it then select the rectangle and the and the test then go to your horizontal alignment then you apply also vertical alignment then you have something like this all right now that we have something like this then i'm going to expand the rectangle i mean to increase it up like this then i will hold my shift key to reduce it this way then come this side reduce it then okay then for the test then i'm going to apply character 
line uh, space a bit 60% then we drag it back all right now we have like we have something like this then the next thing again i'm going to copy this one the test here select your test tool then control v to paste then change the font to fair prosper then you have something like this all right then drag it here then you leave it here okay again go and copy this your test then select your test tool you drag like this then you paste then I'm going to change the font to this Roboto again then I will make it semi I mean medium then go to your a test here then I'm going to increase the space like this then the paragraph is okay drag this one down so that the hidden test will come out all right i'm going to reduce it small this way then okay now we have something like this i'm going to also increase this test here then coming down to this place the burger increase it then okay then drag this one down like this right now that we have something like this i will come to this place then hold my shift key then to drag this one like this so that i'll make sure that it's aligned all right then the next thing i'm going to do is to copy for delivery then my test to come to this place you paste then change the font to roboto then make it bold all right then i'm going to make the color lights a bit like this okay then i'll duplicate it ctrl j drag it down then i'll light it i'll copy my contact number then ctrl v to paste then i will reduce the boldness of this one to medium then reduce it a bit like this okay now i'm going to copy this order 
then i will draw a round shape rectangle over here then change the color to red select your test tool or come to this place ctrl j to copy then take it here ctrl v to paste now reduce it okay I will select the two, then horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. So now I have something like this. Then the two, I will group it. Then I name it order now. Ctrl G, then name it delivery. Then I'm going to select this one, then I'm group it, name it the test. Why this one will be the logo? Here we have the background BG. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.